Uh, I'm Ye Neng from Beijing Institute of Technology. I'm very glad to give presentation here on behalf of my co-authors. Well, uh, uh, my presentation title is a novel energy efficiency enhancement scheme for asynchronous non-signal multiple access. Very simple schemes, I think, but uh, maybe efficient according to our analysis. Non-signal multiple access, in short, NOMA, has been regarded as a promising access technology for media transmission in next generation wireless communication. And I think uh, it has been considered for a future generation wireless communication system to meet the massive connection requirement of scenarios such as massive machine type communication. Existing research about NOMA mainly focus on synchronous user multiplexing which may introduce additional signaling overhead as well as large power consumption during the signaling intersection, interaction. And moreover, the signaling overhead can bring large power consumption, which contradicts the long battery life circle requirement of machine type communication. So by relaxing the uplink synchronization, requirements and allowing asynchronous transmission, the signaling overhead can be reduced, and so does the power consumption. However, the users in machine type communication may not have strict uh, synchronization due to the signaling reduction and energy efficiency concern. So therefore, our paper aims to study an enhanced normal scheme to further improve the energy efficiency <coughs> performance of UEs, where we define the energy efficiency as uh, dividing the consumed power by dividing the achieved data rate by consumed power. And specifically, we resort to two uh, simple uh, te techniques. And the first one is a discontinuous transmission, and the second one is a rate splitting to enhance the energy efficiency of asynchronous NOMA. So, this is our system model. We consider a synchronous normal transmission with two UEs, as shown in this figure on this slide. Without loss of generality, we assume UE2 has larger channel gains than UE1, and the received signal at Gino B can be formulated as Y equals to H1 A H H2B and plus N, and the noise. To, to distinguish the superimposed signal, we conduct uh, the simple SIC decoding, where, the, where for, for to detect the UE1 signal, we consider a detection window which aligns with the UE1's, uh, UE1's symbol. And for UE2, we conduct the same <coughs> operation. So conventionally, maximum transmission rate of NOMA is achieved with continuous and full power transmission according to the network information theory. However, uh, this may cause large inter-user interference and reduce energy efficiency. And in asynchronous case, and this will further reduce the uh, uh, SE as well. So therefore, we propose to enhance EE by avoiding continuous or full power transmission and making use of the asynchronous transmission to produce interference-free zones. So first of all, we propose a disc discontinuous transmission NOMA to mitigate the inter-user interference and enhance the energy efficiency of NOMA. We propose a discontinuous transmission NOMA, where the general idea is conduct a discontinuous transmission at one UE. So in Figure Two, we illustrate a simple example. We suppose that the random delay of user 1 and user 2 after transmission permit is D1 and D2, respectively. UE1 transmits signal in a repetition fashion, and UE2 transmits signal in a discontinuous fashion. So we consider uh, two cases. For the first case, uh, we consider a decoding window which can cover UE1 signal between block B8, B1 and B2. And the receiver should reorder and record, decode the data as shown 
in the top of figure two. And for case two, the decoding window covers two discontinuous parts of the recorded data, which is combined to be a complete block one. And the SIC receiving is employed to cancel the interference in both cases. While well, this continues can be regarded as a special case of rate splitting, where non-equal power transmission is usually employed to enhance energy efficiency. So in the circle, we propose a rate splitting based normal schemes, as shown in the figure on this slide, to exploit the full potential of rate splitting. So in RS normal, you the one alternatively conduct a repetition transmission or conventional uh, one-shot transmission. And at UE2, we perform rate splitting, where each data block, BI, are divided into two parts, BI1 and BI2. We know that BI1 holds the same transmit interval in the time domain as A1, which was transmitted by UE1. And however, BI1 or BI2 only holds half transmit power. The SIC decoding order is illustrated in this figure. So with gray uh, regions depicting the interference, we uh, regard the interference as noise and conduct a single user detection. The decoding process iterates with the order of first of A1 and then B1, B2, which was combined as a single, sing, as a single uh, code block and then B1, B11, and B12, and then A2, and then B, B3. It seems like a, a bit complicated for decoding orders. But according to our numerical analysis, this will bring some benefits in energy efficiency. So here we present some numerical simulation results. We suppose P1, P2 are the maximum achievable transmission power of block A, I, and B, I in each slot uh, with condition P2 larger than P1. And we use N as a noise power in each slot. We assume that P1 equals to 10, P2 equals to 20, which is some typical uh, setting in analyzing the multiple access channel model. And then we vary the noise, or noise power and to compare the energy efficiency performance of conventional normal, disc discrete transmission normal, and rate splitting enabled normal. <coughs> so here are the main results. Uh, for each circle in this figure, uh, illustrate one SNR point. And the uh, down left part of this figure shows the low SNR region, and the upright part of the figure shows the high SNR region. In low SR, in high SNR region, the EE energy efficiency is limited by the inter-user interference, and we see that uh, discrete transmission normal achieves almost the same energy efficiency as conventional normal at UE2, but uh, achieve larger energy efficiency than conventional normal at UE1. While in low SNR region, energy efficiency is limited by noise, the ra rate splitting. Noma achieves almost the same energy efficiency as conventional Noma at UE2 and achieves larger energy efficiency than conventional Noma at UE1. But in both cases, user fairness is, al is also improved. Besides, we observe that uh, rate splitting enabled scheme is more robust in all SNR regions. So here comes the conclusion. Our paper proposed two simple techniques to enhance the energy efficiency of Noma namely discrete transmission or rate splitting. The core idea behind the proposed scheme was to create uh, interference-free zones to enhance the received SNR and to take advantage of SIC receiving. The numerical results show the benefits of our proposed schemes. Well, our schemes uh, is simple but uh, efficient and may be, uh, may be help May, may be of help to further improve NOMA and help uh, NOMA to be in maybe 6G standards. Thank you. Mm -hmm.